everybody, this is TJ with Robinhood Coins, and today we're going to be searching four boxes of quarters. For today's hunt, we have all circulated boxes. We've already opened them all up, including these two tall boxes. So we'll be looking for silver, 2019 West Points, proofs, anything to add to our collection. As always, we'll give away something from the hunt and it's a Robinhood Coins giveaway. And to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video and then don't forget to watch our Saturday weekly winners video at noon on Saturdays to see if you won. Well, with that, let's get into these rolls. We're on roll 25 and Maid Marianne kicks us off with our first find again. It's a shine. See the shine on that? Oh, it looks like a proof. And it's an estimate. We have a San Francisco proof, and because that was a state quarter, so there was no NIFCs. South Carolina. 2000. Good job. Mm -hmm. We are all done with box number one, and there are the discards right there. Unfortunately, we didn't get any silver. We didn't get any West Points. However, Maid Marion did find that San Francisco proof. South Carolina state quarter, that was really cool. That was the only good find of the box, but the good news about hunting four boxes at once is we still have another box to go. So we're going to crack into this and hopefully we can find some silver or some West Points. I'm working on roll 19 of box number two and it's the Loomis rolls which usually do well for us. And we have our first West Point right there. Let's see what it is. All right, let's check this out together. Haven't flipped it over yet. Oh, it's it's a river of no return. Oh, that is exciting. I, this is only the second one that I have gotten in circulation. We found some in uncirculated rolls, but we have only found one other one in circulated rolls like this. Little dinged up, but still very cool. I'm working on roll 23 and I came across a very interesting coin. I have never seen anything like this. I just has to, well, I think it would have been caused by some sort of heat, right? I don't know, heat and pressure. Let me know in the comments below what you think could have caused this to happen to this quarter. I think it has to do something with heat. I'm working on roll 26 and we have another West Point. This time it was reverse up, so I saw that it was a war in the Pacific. We have found probably these the most in circulation, and it is a West Point right there. It's pretty scratched up, but still it's another West Point, and that is great. I'm on roll number 50, looking for some last roll luck, plus this ender just looks super, super clean. It's a reverse, and let's see... If we get anything on the inside, and just see if that's a nice, and no silver. Looks like we have a couple potentials for maybe some W, some of those really nice looking ones. But let's take a look at this Ender, and it's a decent looking 1973, for 1973 anyway. But no silver, so we will keep on looking. We are all done with box number two, and that was not a bad box at all. We ended up with a couple of West Points. We had that River of No Return right there. We had the War in the Pacific as well, and we had that really interesting coin. We also found a 2020 American Samoa, but it's just a Denver. I'll set it aside just to see how many I get. Now it's time to crack into box number three, which is the tall box. So we'll get that out and ready to go, and let's see what we find. So I have box number three and box number four laid out and ready to go. And these wrappers look like a different color than the normal tall boxes that I'm used to seeing or quarter wrappers that I'm used to seeing. And something else that's interesting is that they are, look really loosely wrapped. They just, these tall boxes are always like that. They're just not a very good wrap job. My buddy is that so Mike noticed it on last week's quarter hunt video. And But these were sealed from the uh, bank, so they weren't tempered with by the teller, or they're not customer returns. But And they are wrapped, they're just poorly wrapped. But we will get into these, and hopefully we find something good. We are working on roll 27 of box number 3, and I just found our first foreign of the hunt. 
Let's check it out together. All right, here it is. It is a 25 centavos Puente del Rey, Republica de Panama, 2005. That is a different looking uh, Republica de Panama. That's a different Panama quarter than I'm usually seeing whenever we find them in the rolls. But that's pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm. My little helper wanted to check it out. And she thinks that there's a W over here. No. Nope. We're working on roll 43 of box number three. And Maid Marian found a West Point. Let's see what it is. Ooh, San Antonio Missions. It's been a while since we found one of those. Look at it right there. Little beat up, but... Hey, we'll take it. That's awesome. Good job. Thanks. We are all done with box number three, and that was not a bad box. We ended up with that Panama quarter. That was pretty cool. And a San Antonio Missions West Point, which we have not gotten one of those in a while. So that was really cool as well. Now we're going to crack into box number four, and let's see what other goodies we can find. We are working on roll 39, and me and Maid Marion were just talking about how this box was going to be a dud, and it produced something that we have never found before. It's a San Francisco NIFC, but it's a LOL 2019. This will be our first 2019 San Francisco NIFC. You know it's an NIFC because it doesn't have the cameo or the frosting or the mirror finish, so it's not a proof. And there are NIFCs not intended for circulation that were produced as well. That is cool. Also, over the past couple of rolls, we had a couple of really nice condition coins. This 1965 is in pretty nice shape. I don't normally find them like that. And then this 1976 Denver is in pretty nice shape as well. It looks like it has a little grease in the strike, but... Looks pretty nice. We are all done searching through the rolls, and now it's time for the second hunt. We're going to be going through all the coins that we set aside for check for errors and varieties, including my little helper's favorite. The spinning horse! That's right, the Delaware State Quarter minted in Philadelphia will be looking for the spinning horse. She found one a couple weeks ago. I am still dying to find the South Carolina minted in Philadelphia. And the variety I'm looking for is the one with the extra branch. Looking for a good example of the extra claw. Still haven't found that yet. We will also be looking for the double die obverse in the 1976 Denver. And the extra leaf in the Wisconsin minted in Denver. We'll be looking for a couple others. But those are the ones I'm most excited to find. So let's get in there and find them. So my little helper and I were going through these coins, checking for varieties, and I came across this South Carolina with an insane amount of machine doubling. You see the doubling on most of the letters, but even look right here at the E. The doubling almost makes the doubled part is bigger of the E than, than that. The M is doubled. You could tell they're not double die. Um, I don't know that these years are even capable but because there's no splitting, there's no splitting on any of the ends where there's doubling. And that's the, I, I believe the biggest way that I know how to check, to tell between machine doubling and double die. But look at the doubling right here on this branch, really bad. And then also on almost all of these branches here on this part of the bird, just all of that is doubling. Uh, all the ones that we were looking at that are regular don't have that extra doubling. So I don't think uh, machine doubling is is very valuable at all. But I think I'm going to keep this just because there's so it's so prominent and there's so much of it that it's interesting to me. And then we also found a Kansas State Quarter with the In God We Rust. Um, you can see the ghost of the T, but it, you, it's not enough to actually see the raised metal or the definition of the raised metal. So it's a pretty good example. I do have better examples where there's not even a ghost impression, 
but um, just look at the difference between the the strike in the R and then the T. We are all done checking for errors and varieties, and it was good to find that in God We Rust error or variety, and we've found a lot of those, um, but also that extreme machine doubling on the South Carolina quarter, that was pretty interesting. As far as the wrap-up goes, we ended up with one proof. We had the South Carolina, San Francisco proof right there. That is very cool. And then we had three West Points. We had the War, the River of No Return, the War in the Pacific, and the San Antonio Missions right there. Probably my favorite is the River of No Return because we have only found, this is the second one that we have found in circulation um, besides the ones that we found in uncirculated rolls. So that is really cool. We had that really interesting or weird coin. I think it had some sort of melting done to it, but uh, just an interesting find. And then we did get a foreign. We have the Republica de Panama. And on the back, it says Via 25 Centesimos. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Very cool there. And then finally, last but not least, we found a San Francisco NIFC, our first 2019 NIFC. My wife found that, so that was pretty cool. We ended up finding six of the 2020 American Samoa Denver's no philadelphia we had a bunch of really nice looking state quarters and then this 2009 is in pretty nice shape definitely gonna save it i don't save every 2009 but the ones like this i do save because they are lower mintage than the years around them overall though it was a fun hunt we ended up with some good finds the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be this War in the Pacific West Point that we found during this hunt. Got to love finding West Points. As always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on this video and we'll use a random comment picker on our weekly Saturday winners video every Saturday at noon to pick the winner. Well, if you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed the hunt, smash that like button. If you want to help us get to 3,000 subscribers, please subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any giveaways or videos. And we will see you on the next hunt.